Hi, I'm Josh from eSpares. Here at eSpares, a question we're commonly asked is why people's wet and dry vacuum cleaners are no longer dispensing any water. In the vast majority of cases, this is because the pump has developed a fault. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the pump on a Vax 6131 wet and dry vacuum cleaner, although the procedure is going to be largely the same for other Vax models. Safety first, make sure your machine is unplugged from the mains before you carry out the procedure. Now the tools you're going to need for this are a cross head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a 10 millimeter box driver, some long needle nose pliers, and the replacement pump. It's also a good idea to have something such as a cup or a bowl to put all the loose screws and bolts in. Now the first thing we need to do is separate the head motor unit from the canister. And the reason we do this is because the pump is actually in the motor unit. So it's just to give ourselves a bit more space to work with. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is unscrew the two screws on the handle cover, one at the top and one at the side. And then once you've done that, the handle will come apart in two parts, like so. Next, we need to undo the cable grip here, and also the two bolts either side of the handle. One underneath the cable grip, and one on the other side, here. When you've done that, you should just be able to lift the lid of the motor cover up. But do be careful doing this because underneath there are several cables that are attached to terminals. Now here we have two cables that are attached using spade connectors to terminals underneath. And you need to release these by pressing the barbs that are on the connectors and pulling them off. Now if this is particularly tricky, you can use the flat head screwdriver to push the barb in while you pull the connector off like so. When you've released those two connectors, take the cross head screwdriver and undo this screw down here at the side which holds the cover over the top of the motor. So now I've removed the motor cover, I need to separate the handle and the switch assembly from the rest of the motor housing. And I do this firstly by removing these two cables here and again releasing the barbs that hold them in place. And secondly, by pulling out this rubber grommet as well. So now I've separated those two parts. I need to undo these three bolts here using the box driver. Now I've done that, I need to separate these two halves of the housing to access the pump underneath. But before I do so, I'm just going to feed the pipe back into the housing and this will give me a bit more space to pull the two halves apart. Now underneath, we have the pump. And before I remove the pump, I'm just going to pull the pipes off and then removing the bracket that's holding the pump in place by undoing the screws either side. And then we need to remove this pipe from the other end of the pump. So I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver to work the pipe off the end like that, and then use the long needle nose pliers to pull the pipe off. And now all we need to do is fit the new pump in the opposite way. So now I've put the new pump in, I just need to put it all back together in the reverse order.
Now make sure when you're putting the motor unit back together that you don't have any trapped cables in there. If you do have any trapped cables, it can affect your appliance's performance. Another great eSpares tip for you as well, the reason the pump breaks down is because the detergent that you clean with crystallizes inside it and this causes a blockage. So when you've finished using the wet and dry machine, flush the system through with water and this should help to clear any blockages away. So now the 6131 is fixed, you can find the spare pump that I used on the eSpares website as well as various of the spares for this fax machine and other models and you can also see me performing repairs on other appliances in other eSpares videos. Thanks for watching.